Andrea Williams, Chichester 286. Thank you for the answer. If this is the case, and given the impassioned earlier plea of the Archbishop of Canterbury to holiness and to obedience, to love and to truth, what action is the House of Bishops taking to ensure dioceses are holding clergy consistently to the life-giving and gospel witness of Canon B30? And might they consider investigating, say, 10 dioceses a year, starting with Portsmouth, Southwark, Salisbury, and Manchester? Should there be an alleged breach of this position, that is a matter for the, diocese, the relevant diocesan bishop and the priest or deacon concerned in any issue, not just on this one. Question 50, also from Mrs. Michaela Williams. Supplementary. Supplementary, Mrs. Williams. Andrea Williams, Chichester 286. Since the House of Bishops has given guidance before 2020 on the use of baptismal liturgy to welcome people who have transitioned, why can it not give guidance before 2020 to affirm and welcome those who wish to detransition to their biological gender? The guidance um, issued by the House of Bishops is on the use of an existing liturgy, the affirmation of baptism vows, which can be used on many, many, many occasions, but for the use of this for, to give a welcome to transgender people. Uh, there is no reason at all why the reaffirmation or affirmation of baptismal vows could not be used by somebody who is deciding they wish to reverse that decision. The, the House of Bishops hasn't issued guidance on transitioning. Mm. 